Okay, so we're back in uh, Gothenburg, still here. Today we're gonna do some bouldering. We're already warmed up, so uh, we're just gonna continue. And then we'll end off with some training. Don't know exactly what we're gonna do yet, but we're gonna check out the training room. It's always different from gym to gym. So kind of excited to see how this plays out. This one looks really cool. I love the dual texture holds. And this looks really fun. We start with those two. Shirt off. not so easy. <sighs> Fun fact, this video was shot the same day as the other one from this gym. So if we look a little bit tired on this one, that's the reason. <laughs> Nice. I didn't see this one on the first try. So white tape. Go upstairs and try food bowlers upstairs. So it's like a little bit different from gym to gym. We've been told that here the volumes, the triangles, are on for everything. But at our gym in Oslo, it's only the color of the bowler. So that's a little bit confusing when you come to a new gym. This volume is on for everything because you can put holes on it. You see it has like T-nuts. And the same with this one, it's on everything. And it's even the same with this black hole. It's even the same. But you uh, didn't use it, you skipped it. Yeah, I skipped it for yeah. both. I skipped it for the uh, for the yellow one and also for the pink one. So you just made it uh, harder? Probably a little bit harder, yeah. but still not that hard. Oh, 
I think I might take a little break, get some, like, drink some coffee and protein bar or something. Sounds good. I feel pretty low on energy right now. It's been a pretty hectic trip. Mm. Uh, but we did get to see um, Gothenburg, that was yeah. nice. Cool city. No. Kind of old though, it's not like, so modern as like <laughs> Stockholm or. No, I Oslo. mean we might have only seen like a bad part of uh, yeah. Gothenburg, but yeah. it seemed a little bit like sketchy. Or yeah. Not sketchy, but like, old. So how's a uh, normal girl doing? She's doing good. It's funny that you call <laughs> call her normal girl. <laughs> yeah, even she said like even people on the street like. Uh, random like students at her school, they call her normal girl now, so it's kind of funny. So this one is uh, yellow holes and it says uh, Splickan Ingo, which means uh, the crack uh, is uh, on. Swedish is pretty uh, similar to Norwegian, that's why I know. So this is on, this is the white voice volume. I don't know if you watch the channel for a while, you know that. I went to Sheffield to uh, learn how to crack lamb with uh, the guys who make these, my boys. So let's see if I still have the, the skill. It feels, feels pretty good actually. Uh, you should definitely try this one. Yeah. Those cracks sure. really hurt if you're if you're not used to them. <laughs> they hurt quite a bit. Yeah. You, have you done crack climbing before? Never. Never. So you'll have to teach me, I think. Yeah, I can try to teach you a few things. Okay, so the trick is, let me see if I remember this. So the trick is to make an L shape to really get you, your hand far in. You put your thumb in like this, and then you also squeeze with your fingers. So L shape, get your thumb in, and then squeeze with this. It's a different kind of finger strength. You have to push with your fingers like this. It might feel painful to you too, I don't know. Especially in the, in the beginning for me, it was pretty painful. Okay, so L shape. Yeah. Get the hand in, push out with the thumb, and then squeeze. Thumb in. Thumb in? Yeah. Oh, okay. And on this, I use like the swimming technique. So the swimming technique, instead of going like this, I just lead with the upper hand, yeah. so I go higher and higher, and I follow with this. Okay. So I would try that. Oh, it's such a weird technique. Right? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, use your thumb. Yeah, I'll try it once more. Just a crack. On the on the back of the hands, it's such a different way of climbing, you know. 
not the grip, but like pushing and pulling it. Yeah. yeah. And then there's like a different technique for every crack yeah. because they're all different sizes. You yeah. Know? Isn't there one where you put your whole fist in? Yeah. And also use, and also use yeah. Uh, you, yep. yeah. Use two hands. Okay. Nice, Magnus. Come on, come on. I really feel it. It's been a long day, but this has been like the best climbing session I've had in a while because I've just been climbing a bunch. It's always like that when you're in a new gym. It's like everything is new to you, so you just get super inspired. You should want to try everything. I feel like that's the best type of training for me. What do you think? Should we uh, do the training part? Yeah, definitely. I think we're done with bouldering. And I think we're also going to show the different training elements. I see they have like a kilter board and a tension board. We don't have those in Oslo. Just to show what it is, we're not going to train on it because fingers are too weak right now. I think we would just injure ourselves if we tried. But uh, we'll uh, show you the different boards and uh, do a little bit of like upper arm power training to end things off. So we don't have time to try, or as you say, we don't have the power to try all the different walls and the different training equipment because you have a kilter board here. I've never seen a kilter board in real life. So we're gonna show you that, how it works. It's pretty cool how it lights up. And then we're gonna do some training here uh, just to end things off, like the upper, upper body stuff that I usually end my trainings with. All right, so this is the kilter board. Pretty cool, I think I like the design. You see how the lights are fixed? It looks really nice. I don't like, I'm, I'm really sore. I don't know if you see my fingertips. Do you focus on that? It's like, I, I mean, it's not that bad, but uh, otherwise I would definitely train on this. And this is not sponsored by the no. way. Probably looks like it is, but it's not. But you have this app and you choose what bowl problem you want to try. And then it just lights up the, the holes that you're allowed to use. Do you see the holes that are lit up now? So I guess the green is a starting hold and the pink is the top hold or something. Is the green the starting hold yeah. and the pink one is the top pink hold? Yeah. And the yellow is for feet. Yellow is for feet? Yeah, okay. only for feet. Only for feet. Oh wow, that's really high tech. You start here then. I really want to try it now, but I'm not going to. What I like about this is it's so easy to see what holes you're allowed to use because it can be pretty confusing on the moon board. And the holes are nice too, they're rounded and nice. So what is the hardest grade on this? Uh, 7C. 7C, yeah, okay, so it goes from 6A or? Yeah, something like that. 6A to 7C, it's a good range. Yeah, so the tension board is harder. We're gonna look at that now. The holes here are made out of wood. It's also the system, like it lights up, but I feel like it's a little bit more confusing, but this is more, I mean, the, for harder grades. And also because the holes are made out of wood, you have to rely more on finger strength. You can't, I mean, there's not much friction on the holes. If I had to choose, like I would probably put this up in my house, but that's because of the grades. The Kilda board I think is uh, better made. It's a better product, but this is uh, more like hardcore, I guess. And they don't even have, like the moon board is probably the most common thing. And we have that in, uh, in Oslo, but they don't have it here at all. And this is a, just a chaos wall. So you can make bullets yourself. And uh, I think that's a good way of learning technique. Because if you have to make bullets yourself, you better understand how to move on the wall. This we have, of course, at the Oslo Climbing Gym. But I've not made so many videos of it. And that's just, I mean, it's not that interesting to watch because you don't really understand what you're allowed to use and what you're not allowed to use. But if you want to see more videos from the chaos wall, you should comment down below. And then there's like the training section. I think it's pretty standard. Um, I see they have a pegboard. We don't have that in Oslo. So you use these. Uh, Cross. 
To be honest, I don't feel like I would never use a pegboard. I don't really understand the point of it. The only thing you train, I feel like, is like locking off. You can do that on a pull-up bar or anything. But uh, the campus board is interesting because the rungs are closer together. Uh, you see this? I would say in Oslo, there's like, we only have like every other rung. So this makes it more, I mean, it's easier to make small adjustments. If you can do one, five, nine, you can probably do one, five, ten, and not too long. The only problem is if you have to be very accurate, because if you're not accurate, you'll hit other holes or other rungs. I kind of like both. I'd prefer it if it was like, if they had like one that was really close together and one that was more spread out, because the standard one is like 22 point something uh, centimeters. I think we have the standard one in Oslo actually. Uh, and then there's the different hangboards, beast makers, of course, and then pull-up bars, and a little bit of like standard training equipment. I think we should, we should train biceps today. I thought about this when, when I showed you the hand jamming actually, because the same trip I did uh, the lattice test and the lattice test revealed that my biceps are pretty weak compared to the rest of my body. So I think uh, today we're gonna end off with some bicep training. So I've done a lot of weighted pull-ups lately, but um, today I'm gonna do it this way. So it's biceps instead of this way. I think I'll do 40 kilos. Five reps of 40 kilos times three. Should be a good amount to end things off today. These weights look so small, but this is 25 kilos. Look how thin it is. And this is 15 kilos, so 40 kilos. These are not CrossFit weights. I'm weaker this way. Normally people are stronger this way. For me it's uh, opposite because when you're climbing, you climb mostly this way. Unless you use like underclings and you actually use biceps. So I'll just do that two more times. I, I kind of want to practice the planche because uh, the gymnastics training that we did revealed that I'm really bad at that. And here they have these things far up from the ground so I won't have any problems with my knees hitting the, the ground. It's actually a little bit hard because they're really unstable because yeah. they're so uh, long. I should get this for like my apartment or something because <laughs> uh, like that's something I need to practice. This yeah. and the handstand, something that I want to be better at. And also I want to learn how to do the back flip. There's so much stuff that I want to learn. Uh, one more time this. Goodness, it's so hard. <laughs> <gasps> so you're putting on your try hard face there. Yeah, <laughs> I have that on all the time. <laughs> but that's it. I'm done. Thank you guys for watching. Truly appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you enjoy this video, check out Marcus on Instagram. He shot and edited this video. And uh, we will see you in the next one.